So you've got the strength card coming in over here. So you're going to need uh, to have a lot of strength of character and you're going to need to make some really big bold moves in order for things to start working for you. You've got a lot of hope for the future. You might be uh, in a relationship and maybe you want that to work or it could well just be that you're looking for things to work out for you and that is what you are basing everything on. Now you've got the card of jealousy above you so that just shows that a lot of people around you are very jealous of your success, pretending to be friends with you and they really are not. So just watch out for people saying things that are not um, nice behind your back. Now you've got a battle that you seem to have fought. You've been standing up, your, standing your ground or you're, you're still in that battle. You're standing up for whatever you believe in. But there is still some self-doubt going on in the background. You're not quite sure what you should be doing next. Now, going into the future, you've got a lot of anxiety coming. Um, you know, maybe with all the uh, problems that you've been having, there's a lot of anxiety that you're facing. And you've got the greed card over here. So people not behaving very nicely around you. Maybe, pe maybe you're um, paying out more than you need to pay out. Uh, you know, people being very greedy for, for things and expecting you to pay more than, than you actually, than it's actually worth. So you're dealing with that kind of um, um, ethos really going on around you, people being very greedy. And that whatever's happening around you, you're very, very anxious. Now you need to actually just, you know, take that risk and know that you have the strength to actually deal with it. You've got to make uh, moves that are larger than life and, and try not to be that that anxious. Because if you don't take the risk of doing things, you know, things will, will never get done and you'll always be staying in that same kind of energy. So... Uh, try and calm down and also maybe some meditation, some kind of um, exercises to just get rid of any anxiety that you might be facing at the moment. So you've got the Nine of Cups over here as your energy and you know it looks like you're getting everything that you want emotionally. Maybe you've got a really good friend that you've made. Uh, maybe you've met uh, somebody that you know you have developed some kind of love interest with. The uh, Nine of Cups is usually a cup of getting whatever wish you want. Maybe somebody helping you achieve that goal that wish so it looks like there's somebody there that's going to help you manifest what you want this could also be a card where you um maybe are planning to go back into studying and you know it's also a card that if you've done any kind of course or any exam you are going to pass with flying colors so this is a very very positive card it's the best card in the deck and it's showing you getting everything that you want so you are achieving things and maybe you know a very good friend there to help you as well get through that circumstance somebody that is very very emotionally supportive of you so you've got the king of rods over here and it's crossed by the uh three of cups over here so here you are trying to make a decision about what to go you've got two options available to you and you are looking to the future to try and make that decision about where uh, you want to be next uh and uh you know it's a project that you're up you're doing and maybe you have got two job offers coming in for you and you're trying to decide which one to to do next now you've got it crossed by the celebration cards you might be going off to some kind of maybe some kind of party some kind of uh, gathering some kind of uh, you know something um that where you have a lot of people gathered together uh celebrating it could be an office party any kind of uh family celebration but it also seems like if you make that decision you know there will be success in whichever way whichever uh, option you choose it looks like it's going to be a very successful outcome with this three of cups and you might be working with people um that you enjoy working with as well so that project might involve people that you enjoy working with and it's going to be uh you know something that uh is going to be very very successful whichever choice you make so what's going on in uh in the past year you've got the hermit card you've been spending a lot of time by yourself um you know maybe working a lot by yourself because this is the card rule by uh virgo so a lot of information as well is what you've been handling because you've got this bird here uh but uh, you know maybe just really withdrawn and maybe spending a lot of time with with that work so you know isolating yourself in a sense uh with that work and working pretty hard because that's the card of virgo uh, you've got um, the um, hangman over here. So in the last three months, it looks like you've been dealing with a lot of difficulties. There, there looks like there are two bats of yours, so two difficult problems, and you know you feel like you've you've had to sacrifice a lot. It's also meant that you know it's tied you up a little bit. So there are, there, there are some problems that you've been dealing with, and it's been very very difficult for you to get through them. Um, and you know you've been uh, working uh, in circumstances that you've never encountered before. Uh, so almost seeing things from a different kind of 
point of view or you know having to deal with things that are going wrong all the time so a, a very difficult situation a lot of sacrifice being made as well and right now things don't seem to be moving it seems like it's all stationary all at a standstill you know it's, it's leaving you hanging you're really not quite sure how to, what to do next so on your mind, you've got the Seven of Cups over here. You've got some options available for you, and this has been playing on your mind. You really don't know how to proceed forward. So you've got all these visions, or you've got maybe these options um, being presented to you, and they are not things that you want, because this girl has got her back to these um, dwarfs, if you like, and her, she's got a, a wall in front. So you can't move forward, and you can't really go back. So you really don't want these options that are being presented to you because she's ignoring them but she can't move forward because she hasn't made a decision about what she wants to do so you are looking to the future trying to make that decision but you you know you're in a dilemma over here this child looks really confused and you know um it looks like these are this is a new project because this is a young child this is a new project that you have to do but these options that are available for you or this new part that's available for you is not something that you're too keen on so you have this playing on your mind so going to the future, you've got the Judgment card over here. So this is uh, trying to do something completely different uh, from what is generally acceptable to, um, you know, to everyone around you. Uh, the Judgment card is usually a card of resurrection, which means that, you know, getting up, um, resurrecting some kind of old project from the past or something coming back from the past. But this woman is now become this bird that's taking off. It's, it's like an eagle with a woman's head on it, which is a very strange sight because this is not usually something that really happens. So it looks like whatever you're going to be doing is going to be something completely different, something you've never done before and something that people are going to consider to be very strange. Um, and it's going to get you out of that situation because you can see she's rising above it. So it means that it's going to take you out of all your problems. Um, you know, you've got a lot of people looking up over there trying to decide, you know, this is a new pathway that you're taking and it's, an, it's something that's a bit of a breakthrough. So whatever new thing you're going to do is going to take you out of that situation and it's going to be something very different um, that you're going to be heading or in charge of. Um, so what's going on with you? You're trying to manifest uh, things. So with this card, it is talking about, uh, you know, things moving pretty quickly for you. And, um, you know, there you're working very, very hard. You're looking to the past for information. There's a really old man over here for advice to help you get your projects to move forward. And a lot of enlightenment coming in as well with this card. And then you've got the um, Knight of Swords over here. Uh, sorry, the Page of Swords over here. So some information coming in, some legal information coming in. You might be signing some kind of contract, uh, but definitely information coming in pretty quickly for you. Watch out for people that are sneak spies or people that cause uh, problems. These cards of pages usually uh, talk about people that are spying and not on your behalf. Um, best interest so you've got the four of swords over here it looks like you know you do need to have a little bit of a break a little bit of a rest um you know there is still a lot of studying but you seem to be very tied out uh and you do need a little break to reconsider what's been going on around you so what's coming up in the future you've got um the strength card over here uh, you've got the Emperor card over here and you've got the Lovers card over here. So the strength is dealing with a very, very difficult problem and using all your willpower, uh, trying to, tr to sort that problem. And this is what's going to be happening. So whatever situation coming up, uh, you might be dealing with a strong rival. Uh, you're going to have to use all your uh, mental energies and sort that problem out because they are very difficult to deal with. And you've got to have to take control of the situation with this Emperor card. Make sure you're doing a lot of research. You might be needing some advice from somebody around you. If there's a judgment, that is going to be passed uh, soon. And, um, you know, um, it pro it's going to be a positive outcome as far as that goes. So there, there might be some legal issue as well that you're dealing with as well. Uh, there's the um, lover's card over here. So a choice will need to be made. So you will have to make some kind of decision. There are people that are not really for it. You've got the snake card over here, but a choice we will definitely need to make. And it seems to come after a, a little bit of a battle uh, because this man's wearing um, armor. So a very important decision that will be pending soon. And, um, you know, uh, you're going to have to use all your uh, mental agility to kind of get to the solution or trying to make that choice. So I'm going to just draw some cards from this Oracle deck here. And you've got love. You may find that your soulmate and you might find your soulmate uh, soon. And there's harmony and security coming. So you've got the love card over here. Now, the love card is, is similar to this um, 
um, lover's card. So, you know, there is also that choice. But a lot of harmony and security uh, coming in and your decision uh, will lead to um, security so uh, or commitment. So um, you've got the love card coming in over here. You need to make a decision, um, you know, even if it's about relationships. And you are now trying to find some harmony and security in your life as well. You've got uh, carelessness over here. So try not to be careless um, or there might be some consequences. And um, you must pay attention to money and taxes and be careful of what you say because it can backfire. So just watch what you're saying to people with this carelessness card. And the final card is isolation. It is not a, not a time to isolate yourself from others, uh, but it is a time to increase your social life so you can create opportunities and more choice. So you need to socialize a bit. Don't lock yourself in your room. Uh, this isolation hermit card, you need to come out of that hermit mode and just uh, make more friends so that you can network and have more opportunities. Try not to be careless. Watch what you're doing. Pay attention. Be very careful. Very att pay a lot of attention to your money and whatever you're doing because there are consequences if you are careless. So be thinking very carefully. And the love to uh, card is talking about uh, security and harmony coming to you. So you are getting over a difficult phase. It looks like you're going through a transformation. Some decision coming in. Things will start moving on with this eight of rods over here. Uh, but you're undergoing the judgment card, so you are going to be doing something completely different. This is a turning point card, a change in your life, and it ends off with the lover's card, which shows that there is a big decision that is pending. And so you have to think very carefully about what you want to do. Make sure you're doing it from the heart rather than from the mind. So whatever you're passionate about, make a decision like that. But all, and it seems like there is that choice card with this uh, King of Rods as well. But whatever decision you make, uh, there is going to be, um, you know, a lot of celebration afterwards. Uh, and, you know, it looks like you will be victorious in whatever choice you make is going to be uh, something that will work out for you. 